Zach Robinson with Pro Football Focus. Today we're going to talk about the Rams play action pass game. Something we saw Jared Goff lead the NFL in a season ago was passing yards off of play action. Sean McVay brings it over to the Rams, has had success everywhere he's been with the Redskins, now with the Rams using play action pass. But we're going to talk through just a few of their staple concepts that we see week in and week out. And this first one is, uh, it's a staple for a lot of teams in the NFL, but the Rams do it as well as anybody. And that is just the play action glance route, skinny post route that we see time and time again. Great first down and 10 call, drive starter type of, type of play to get the offense in some sort of rhythm. But uh, the biggest thing we see from the Rams offense play action wise is uh, they, they do it a lot out of condensed formations. They use bunch sets, they use tight sets. Uh, really to give their receivers an advantage leverage-wise on the defensive back. We're going to see that over and over again throughout these clips. But this first one here is just a great example of a play-action skinny post glance route. But let's go ahead and take a look at the clip. All right, so let's take a look at a clip of this from last season. This is week one against the Indianapolis Colts early, early in the game. Uh, this is actually their third offensive play of the entire season. Uh, kind of shows how much they do like this play-action glance. But uh, another thing to highlight always is the communication that they're able to get up front. They, they're able to get this thing communicated. They're in a tempo type situation. Sean McVay up, has up until 15 seconds to get the exact play he wants to Jared Goff, uh, which, he, which he's able to do on this, on this look here. But we're going to see a couple of good things. We mentioned the leverage that he's going to have on the defensive back. He's in a tight split, forcing outside leverage. And then the action up front, they're going to run a great man type action with the, uh, the tight end going to fold in, going to get a lot of, lot of action here. And Jared Goff's going to make a great throw in a window. Let's go ahead and run through the clip. So we come off, he comes off the fake. This is always going to be on the plant. So you can see he's throwing this thing in a, in a tight window. But the biggest thing is he's got the, the leverage advantage on the defensive back here. He's an outside leverage, inside, inside breaking route. He's in a great spot. Jared Goff puts it right on the money. Run the rest of the clip here. Accurate throw. We see Jared Goff at this intermediate 10 to 19 level, uh, very good off of play action. And it's, it's little plays like these that come up over and over throughout the season. But uh, that's a great example of it. The next clip is going to be kind of a different, uh, different look of it formationally. But we're basically going to get the exact same type of route. And so here we're in a little bit different set. We're going to have a, a tight end motion. Yo-yo uh, motion back and forth, and we're going to use the Jacksonville Jaguars' aggressiveness against them on this play. We're going to see that they're going to they're going to come up very hard on this run fake and create a great window. But once again, we're in a tight split formation by our single receiver down here. This this defensive back is going to have to protect some of the outside. It's going to force them into an outside leverage, and once again, we're going to see an in-breaking skinny post glance route. Let's go ahead and run through it here. Take a look at the Jaguars' aggressiveness up to the line of scrimmage. This, this passing window for Jared Goff is very, very clean. Run the rest of the clip, and he's able to de deliver another accurate throw. Great catch and run ball. Robert Woods gets some yards after the catch. But again, they're just using all of the things that they can to their advantage with formationally, using the Jaguars' aggressiveness against them. They got a great run sell. Jared Goff's got a clean pocket to make this throw. Run the last part of this clip. It doesn't get as, as open as that in the NFL. And then finally, we're going to take a look at the exact same type of concept, but now from the shotgun, we're going to see it off of a wide outside zone fake from the offense. Again, I think they're communicating with Goff. You can see there's 27 seconds on the play clock, so they got up to the line of scrimmage with a good tempo. Uh, Sean McVay is able to communicate to Goff, hey, let's get in this play. He's going to communicate it across the board. And they're going to run through the clip, but this, this time we're going to see more wide outside zone play action. Once again, we got a tight split over and over. Tight split, give us, give us the leverage advantage on the defensive back. He's going to break it off in front of him, and then we're going to roll. But let's go ahead and roll through this clip. This is the last one we've got of their, their play action glance passing game here. Gets it communicated. Todd Gurley flips sides. They're going to have a great split flow action from the off-ball tight end. He's going to ride it. He's got a very clean pocket. That's one, side, one thing with outside zone that gets you is typically a clean po pocket. You get these guys moving sideways and not up the field. You got a great clean pocket. Jared Goff's in a good position to make this throw, run the rest of this clip, and once again delivers another accurate throw. So time and time again, the play action glance is 
by far one of their best passing concepts that they have. Gets the ball out of Jared Goff's hands on time, in rhythm. Just something that they use as a staple week to week. They might dress it up a different way, but something we see time and time again from the Rams offense. But let's take a look at another concept that's common throughout the Rams offense. The next concept we're going to talk about from the Rams play action game is their post and deep cross combination. Something that's used fairly league wide throughout the NFL, but the Rams do it with great efficiency. It comes up time and time again. They dress these plays up a number of ways. This one in specific is a, is a great way to throw a lot of things at the defense, get them looking in a number of different directions, and throw the ball over the top of their head. But we're going to see an outside zone fake from Todd Gurley. The off-ball tight end is going to come across with split flow play action. And then we're also going to get a fake reverse look from the receiver out of his bunch alignment. So we got a number of things that we're throwing at the defense before we get to the actual concept. But again, the concept is a post from number one, and we're going to have a deep cross from Cooper Cup working over the top of the defense, kind of finding this window out here. But let's go ahead and run through the clip. We're going to see just how much there is to look at for these defensive players here. we got outside zone fake. We've got a, a reverse fake. We've got all these guys. They're not sure what to think. They're not sure their read keys. They're thinking uh, outside zone. Then they're thinking they also got to respect the reverse. And then Jared Goff has a very, very clean pocket. And you're going to see a very clean window to make this throw. Go ahead and run the rest of this clip. So he's got a great window to make this throw. Cooper Cup bails him out a little bit, makes a great catch on the play. But uh, this is just one way to throw a bunch of things at, at you defensively uh, with, with just a basic concept, but dressing it up a different way. We got a number of clips here at Cooper Cup making a great catch here. Uh, but again, Sean McVay being able to get guys open and scheme guys open in the play action passing game is something that we see time and time again. And then we're going to talk about another clip here, same exact concept, dressed up a little bit differently. We're going to have Sammy Watkins now. He's going to run the big post. We're going to be in a bunch set again on another deep cross. The quarterback's read on this is typically just the free safety. The free safety is deep. I'm going to get my read and my eyes over here. I'm going to read this deep cross to some sort of check down we're going to have down below. And here he's going to take advantage of a flat-footed landed Collins. Doesn't play very disciplined with his eyes. and It's going to get the ball thrown over the top of his head here. But let's go ahead and run through. So we're going to see Sammy Watkins is going to run a great route on this corner. He's going to get him to bite. And then this free safety is going to be just caught just enough to make this throw. But as we can see, what, what play action can do is just create a lot of space in the pocket for Jared Goff. So run the rest of this clip. He's got great space. We're going to see him launch a 60-plus yard post route over the top of the defense. Sammy Watkins, as we can know, as we know, is, is one of the better deep threats in the NFL. But a great route from Sammy Watkins. Overall, just a great play design from Sean McVay. And then the execution by Jared Goff uh, launching a deep, deep post to Sammy Watkins. Something that we see from them time and time again in their kind of deeper play action game is the deep post with the deep cross. The last element of the Rams play action passing game we're going to talk about is their bootleg game as well as their play action screen game. Something they did as well as anybody in the NFL last season. Todd Gurley actually led the NFL in screen yards uh, and using play action was a big reason for that. But the first couple clips are going to be of just their basic boot concepts. And we're going to see Jared Goff, uh, he's not going to make a killing off of these plays, but he does it well enough to, res to make the defense respect him throwing on the move and getting outside the pocket for some of these plays. But a lot of these are just great misdirection. Get the defense flowing one way. We'll have receivers coming back to our, to our right here. But the basic concept is you're always going to have somebody uh, in the flat, you're always going to have a crosser, and something that they do really, really well is they kind of flood, flood the underneath with actually a second flat, uh, flat receiver on this play. But uh, let's go ahead and run the clip and see exactly what we're talking about. The outside zone play action that we see time and time again. Goff's going to come out. He's got number one to Cooper Cup. He's got number two, Sammy, Sammy Watkins is on a cross. And then kind of his outlet here is the tight end who he's ultimately going to get get on his third read in this play, but uh, we see this throw time and time again come up. The defense almost overplays these, and then he's able to deliver the ball back in the middle of the field. Let's run the clip. As you can see, easy, easy yards on first down and 10. Great play after the catch. Now we're at, now we're at first and goal from the two-yard line, but uh, some of these plays that Jared Goff's able to make on the move 
are, are, are huge for this offense. And this next one is, is him making a great throw, finally on the, on the deeper cross coming from Sammy Watkins. We're going to see a similar type concept, another two uh, to the flat type of deal. And Sammy Watkins on this cross, we're going to see Jared Goff make a great throw. Let's go ahead and run the clip again. Outside zone play action. He's got number one. Now he's got number two, Sammy Watkins. And he's fitting this ball in a very tight window. Jared Goff can do this over and over consistently. Uh, defenses have to respect this part of the Rams' play action passing game. Fits it in the window to Sammy Watkins. Great play. Run the rest of that clip there. Another easy first down and 10 call. We see a lot of these uh, on first down and 10 from these bunch type sets like we've talked about. Again, great accurate throw by Jared Goff on the move to Sammy Watkins. And the last play is, is, is probably my favorite play because uh, they're making the defense defend all areas of the field. We've seen them throw the play action skinny post game, hit kind of the intermediate part. We've seen the deep cross, the post over the top. Uh, then we saw the move the pocket bootleg. Now we're going to see, we're going to slip Todd Gurley out of the backfield on a screen. And you're going to see an example of all these things kind of coming together and why the screen opened up so well. But let's go ahead and run through the clip. We're going to get first some jet motion, force communication, force some alignment from the, uh, from the Houston Tech Texans there. He's going to come through. We get a great play action fake. Todd Gurley's out in the open field. We're going, to, we're going to get a great view of just what this does to the defense and exactly what they're seeing and why they're reacting the way they are and why it's uh, such an open play. But uh, this back view is a great, great shot of it. All week, you can guarantee that Kareem Jackson's been told off of play action, hey, they're going to run a deep cross to this part of the field. You're going to have to get depth. Well, now, with that thought in mind, we're going to slip Todd Gurley out here underneath on a play action screen pass. You can see exactly how this is going to affect Kareem Jackson, roll the rest of the clip. He gets there and the space that he's able to create, obviously a great job by the offensive line out in front, but the space that they're able to create just based off of the principle of, hey, off of play action, they're going to run a ton of deep cross. That just clears enough space for the offense. Todd Gurley, uh, absolute monster on play action screen game, something that we saw time and time again and expect to see again this coming season. But for more content on our YouTube channel, go to it, like it, subscribe it. You can always check out premium stats on profootballfocus.com. We'll have every single week play action stats just like this from Jared Goff, the Rams offense, and the rest of the NFL.